is Teal with the Arcane Bear. Welcome to another one of our crypto courses. Today we're going to be looking at one of the technical trading indicators we had mentioned before and many times on our videos, Bollinger Bands, right? By John Bollinger. He was a technical trader, a famous one at that, and he came up with this idea. So here we are on Investopedia again. Investopedia is full of great information. Uh, if you need to look up some of the terminology that we use while we're trading, this is a great way to do it. Um, so let's dive right in. For the Bollinger Bands, and this is reading from Investopedia, everyone, in case you're wondering, is the price of the stock bracketed by an upper and lower band along with the 21-day simple moving average. Sounds standard enough to me. And this, because of this standard deviation, it's a measure of volatility. When the markets become more volatile, the bands widen. During less volatile periods, the bands contract. So breaking down the Bollinger Band, a highly popular technical term analysis. Many traders believe the closer the price moves to the upper band, the more overbought the market is, and the closer the prices move to the lower band, the more oversold the market is. John Bollinger has a set of 20 true rules to follow when using the Bollinger Band trading system. We're only gonna read two of them for you. Again, if you wanna look up more of this information, Investopedia has a great way to just dive right into some of these technical terms and also what the indicators mean and how to use them. We will continue to make these videos for you guys Anyways, though, even though that information is out there, we're going to uh, re repeat it for everyone and for ourselves, as that way we are still learning and learning with everyone too. So first, here we have the squeeze, which is a central concept of Bollinger Bands, where the bands come closer together, constricting the moving average. It's called a squeeze. That sounds about right to us. A squeeze signals a period of low volatility and is considered by many traders the potential of the sign of the future increased volatility and possible trading opportunities. Uh, conversely, the wider parts as the band move out, the more likely the chance of a decrease in volatility. This is the greater possibility that of exiting your trade. However, these conditions are not trading signals. Signals, the bands give no actual indication when the change may take place or in the direction which the price could move. Well, I, well the next one we'll do is just breakouts and then we're going to dive into how we use that ourselves. Um, the breakouts approximately 90% of the price action occurs when two bands or any breakout above the, the band below. This is a major event. The breakout is not a trading signal, and the mistake that most people make is believing that the price hitting or exceeding one of these bands is actually a signal to buy or sell. So it's not, be aware. Breakouts provide no clue as to the direction of the, and the extent of future price movement. So this is not a standalone system. These are simply a single indicator that are, is designed to help traders with information regarding price volatility. John Bollinger himself suggested that using them with two or three other non-correlated indicators that provide more direct market signals, he believes that this way you can find crucial indicators based on different types of data. Pattern recognition, guys, is huge in this market, in these games, and in these types of mathematics and emotion. I've been playing drums for many, many years, and patterns and the recognition of those patterns that you innately build over time are extremely important in being successful with what you're doing on the markets. So watch them first, bet on them second. It's the idea of uh, measure twice, cut once, okay? So make sure you're using these not as single indicators, but through multiple layers of pattern recognition as you're trading, guys. So John Bollinger, as he was saying, believes it is crucial that you use these indicators based off different data. That way, you, uh, some of our favorite technical techniques are, is your uh, moving average, convergence, and divergence, which we've already done a, vi a video on. And the next one we're actually going to be do doing as well, thanks to the shout-out from the Alley Cat whispering in our ears, is the On Balance Volume and Relative Strength Index, or also known as the RSI. Um, basically, the bottom Bollinger Bands are designed to discover opportunities in these patterns and give us, the investors, a higher probability of success. Again, that's what we're doing. This is a game of probabilities. Can we win more times than we lose? And then at the end of the game, we've won. And keeping our emotions in check, too. This is a lot of fun for us, so remember to not get, let it get not fun for you guys. So I've got a Bollinger Bands image here, too. So just so you, in case you guys want to see these upper two stra standard deviations, this is what it looks like. Um, as you have your chart move through, you're moving on the single line as your 20-day moving average. So as you hit the tops, it's kind of uh, showing what your price of volatility is through being either a little bit overbought or oversold, and then again, m using multiple forms of indicators for recognizing these patterns is extremely important. 
So you have your lower band, which is also two negative standard deviations away from your 20-day moving average chart. So that's how it looks, guys. If we jump into Coinigy here, um, now looking at NEO, a coin that we've been watching for quite some time, you can see on these big run-ups that we actually started to go very, very parabolic. And because of that, we followed that Bollinger Band line almost straight up. And as soon as, the, it, as, soon as it turned, it could have been a large indicator uh, or could be, right? Very, very carefully listen to that. Could be a large indicator of the direction of the volatility. Now, again, this is why we use multiple ideas to recognize these patterns is because no single identifying fact of any given situation is a pertinent in being able to decipher tr uh, fact from false, uh, falsity, or whatever you'd like to call that. Anyways, so here we had a nice little, uh, we had this very nice constricting pattern. There's almost no movement the last few days. Uh, that was a beautiful signal for us. We uh, accumulated the rest of what we wanted in NEO here. Um, and then we saw a nice 15% uh, move up this morning um, in a very short time period of maybe only two hours. Uh, and now we're starting to see, are we breaking out of this pattern? Um, and are we going to make some new indicating patterns to take note of as well? So as we had mentioned, um, these are the Bollinger Bands. This is how we kind of use them and we mix it up with other ideas. So we'll make sure that what you do end up doing is not just following, following the Bollinger Bands, but using your moving average convergence and divergence here as well. And really trying to look at the way these two ideas dance and play together essentially this is a game of your intuition and of your emotion so use your logic wisely while you're playing and you'll have a lot of fun uh, this is teal with the arcane bear we just covered bollinger bands guy hammering out another video in the trading world and our crypto courses we're excited to bring these to you as we are also learning we always get to refresh our ideas with what we're working on that way the next time we get back to you guys we have an even better understanding of the things we're already practicing.